put Sir Edmund Hillary on the map. That's the mission of the New Zealand Geographic Board. It's shortlisted seven New Zealand locations, six of them in the South Island, with the favoured one to be named after the mountaineer. As Jonathan Mitchell reports, you'll get your chance to have a say on the preferred option later this year. When you head to the shops, look in your wallet you might find him, and soon you might be driving through a mountain range named after him. The Geographic Board assigns the names to all places in New Zealand. Two years after he passed away, it started the process of finding an appropriate landmark to bear the Hillary name. The formal process begins in August, the delay deliberate to give the family time to grieve. We're very pleased to hear that they may be considering doing that. Um, and of course it really depends whether people feel strongly about giving a peak a Hillary name. You know, we, we would be incredibly honoured if it did happen. The options are Mount Ed Hillary in the Two Thumb Range in the Mackenzie Country, Hillary Peak in the Remarkables near Queenstown, Hillary Hill on the Hauraki Plains in the Waikato, Hillary near Mount Tasman, Hillary Ridge could replace South Ridge at Auraki Mount Cook, or Two Peaks replacing their current names in the inland Kaikoras. Hillary Ridge on Mount Cook already has the family's support. It's where Sir Ed did some of his earliest climbing. He was one of a party, including Harry Ears, who were the first to climb over the South Ridge in their ascent of Araki Mount Cook. The Geographic Board will consult with the family throughout the process. If the consultation process goes for three months, Land Information Minister Morris Williamson will make the final decision as the process finishes by the end of the year. And all going well, Sir Red's name could be firmly ensconced somewhere by early next year. Jonathan Mitchell, Metro News.